DDM includes a configurable Enterprise Update Manager, allowing us to transfer part and bill of materials information from DDM to an enterprise system such as ERP or MRP. Logged in as an administrator, we can now configure our Enterprise Update. In this case, we're going to trigger it to transfer to the ERP system based on a state change. And in this case, for assemblies, we're going to transfer when our assembly is released. Now, it may be when we release our assembly, we want to include bill of materials information, and we may also want to include any related drawings. Where we select include drawings here, it will look at the options set for drawings. And here we have the option set to include drawing PDFs. So it may be that you want to transfer your drawing PDFs to the enterprise system at the same time. We have other options, the option to include related documents, the option to transfer on all state changes, the option to include the latest physical file. So for an assembly that will include all of the children. It may be that we want to transfer folder information and it may be that we also want to include any attachments. Once we've configured our Enterprise Update Manager, if we return to DDM, what we're going to do is to release this leg cover component and see what happens. So if we take the drawing and we release the drawing, This will trigger an enterprise update and if we have a look in the folder where our information is transferred, ready to be picked up by the ERP system, here we can see we have an XML file giving us all details of the part including all of the attributes and also a folder including the drawing PDF. If we have a look at the part that we've just updated we can turn on additional attributes to see when the enterprise update took place. And we can also see that information from the audit of the part properties. If we return to the admin tool, then there are some other options that we can set. It may be that we want someone to be notified when an enterprise update takes place and so we've got a group configured here for enterprise update notification. We also have the option to allow people to do a manual enterprise update. So it may be that we have long lead time parts that need ordering prior to release. And so we can allow that through membership of a group that can do the enterprise update. And in this case, we've got enterprise update users. If we're not a member of that group, we won't be able to do a manual update. So if we return to DDM, we can now do a manual update on this leg assembly. And our enterprise update is completed. If we have a look at our email, you'll see as a member of the notification group, we have an email informing us that this has been published to the enterprise. complete this, if we return to DDM, what we're going to do is to release the main assembly. Once the assembly has been released, we can check the XML file for the assembly, the output to the ERP system. And here we can see the XML file with the definition of the bill of materials and information on the part records within the bill of materials, ready to be imported into the ERP system. So this covers basic configuration of the Enterprise Update Manager in DDM.